What's going on, guys? And welcome back <laughs> to Mutant Year Zero. I'm having a really bad day job right now. But we messed up. Big time. Everybody died. And I can't go back to a previous load because we was playing on Iron Man. So that campaign has gone out the window. So we need to start fresh. And because I do want to experience this story and the game itself, because I think it's going to be really, really good. Um, because I really enjoyed the first couple of hours that I played. Basically, I played for a maximum of like an hour and a half for the first two episodes. So we're going to start a new game. And we're going to play on hard like it was before, but we're not going to play on uh, permadeath. So, if we die, we uh, we can't reload. Uh, if, we, if, we, if we die, sorry, we can reload. But, if one of our heroes dies, I will not reload, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Iron Man is means just like the save itself will be final. It's how far you can get within the game. We will do that as an extra challenge after we've completed it for the first time. So we're gonna do it on hard. No, Iron Man. No, we're not doing it. I really wanted to do it last time as a bit of a challenge, but it backfired and it was a challenge because we got attacked by about 10 different units flamethrowers, a bloody mech bot, heal bot thing. So we're going to start a new uh, new game. No Iron Man. I'm not going to speak through the cutscenes again in case anybody new joins to this video. And if you are new, welcome. And uh, let's get this underway. Another day, another mission risking our necks for the Ark. You know... I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Okay. So we have a little Trust bit. Me, uh, not annoying. Shut the hell up. We do kind of know what to do now a little bit. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand okay. times already, Borman. I want to go back to playing my old little duck, but this time, um, it's not Iron Man. Jackpot. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of grog back at the Ark. This doesn't mean we're gonna go backwards if somebody dies. Right, so combat is turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Uh, some actions such as shooting, throwing, and sprinting will end your turn once used. And we're going to attack this guy with our crossbow because it is silent. I'm just glad it hit him. Okay. So if there's anybody new that's joining this video, um, welcome. Um... We got one hour and a half into this game previously, and I died. And because I was on Iron Man, um, we lost everything. Because we died. <laughs> so, and I couldn't go back. And I, I feel like I, it would have... Uh, I, I wanted to experience the story because I was really enjoying it. And I, I believe some of you guys was as well. So, uh, yeah. We started a new one. Why does this red ring come out like this? Why? You see that? Why does it do that? 
don't get it. Flanking a cover position will cancel its defensive bonus. Damn, I'm good. Okay, let's regroup. Never seen ghouls this far south before. I'm getting closer to the Ark every day. Oh, something's up, Borman. This is different. Weapon mod collected. One additional critical damage. 50% chance to burn enemies. Ancient fire torch. When attached to any weapon, this will give a chance of shooting flaming projectiles. Good against flesh enemies. And we do that in Delta's workshop, which we have been to the Ark. As you know. Um, we will get back there pretty, pretty soon. Got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. Enemies with red skulls are too high level uh, for your team and will kill you. Avoid red skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. Okie dokie. I will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die! Chase wow. is too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers! Let them come! Where the are both you? really high Arms level. don't even love stalkers. <laughs> Get out of here. Use flows to light up enemies, making them easier to hit. Hmm. Not come across them yet. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Get another grub with the boys. What's a foot massage? The campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. So, uh, you can use med kits at any time. You can start with the infantry. Uh, healing outside of combat always refills you to full health. How do you heal outside of combat? How do you heal outside of combat? Oh, just God damn it. Stay put. Over here. He's hiding. Oh, there we go. How do I heal? I don't know how to heal from here. This goes into our infantry. Okay. It's not like we have them here, you know. Use medkit. It says it right there. It's just blacked out. Okay. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Sneaking. If you are undetected, you can scope out enemy positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. Uh, this can tip the balance of a fight into your favor by reducing the overall enemy numbers. Um, no, nothing on there. I'm looking for scrap and all that kind of stuff, because we, as we know, with the with, with the Hungry. recent. Hungry. I guess we take the ark. Tasty mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. 
we go! Rip their hearts, crush their... Hey, hey! You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry! Kill! Yeah, so do, do we... Do you guys think that the stalkers was actually humans before they mutated? Like ducks here and um what's he called Borman? Yeah, buddy. Oh, that was weird. Bingo. Now for the fun stuff. Right. Okay, so we uh, we're getting the same weapon. Which is cool. It's cool. Hi, crow. So I'm just wondering to go inside. What I don't get is why they can see us without line of sight hearing maybe where it is oh they've got levels up mutations and 100% critical chance 25% accuracy um, kills to recharge right, right 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 I get this now I get this so if I was to get this if I was to use it, he has to get three more kills before he can use it again. Makes sense. And we're going to give him the same ability as well. Which was the health booster. Apparently increases the health by one HP. I apologize for you guys that have already watched it. Um... We're making sure it happens right this time. Come on. Due to our recent hiccup. Split up. Oh, hold Good on. Guys, come here. I got this one. Right, you stay there a minute. I'm gonna bring Oh no no, we didn't put the weapon on him, did we? I wanna change this to the shotgun. Uh There we go. So he's got this and then that. So that's got a little bit of a better range. But well, he's like shotgun mad. I could really keep the um, the thing on him, you know? Okay. Let's get ready to ambush here. Take out this guy silently, but obviously that won't work. Fire weapon. Oh. Now he's going to be active now. Another one bites the ducks. Where are you going to go, my dude? Boom. Bullseye. We did it. Got another level up. And let's give you the health booster. Grow my little duckling. Boom box. Uh, the artifact points to get. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to give us the Look artifact at this points. Beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. <laughs> Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. 
I don't even think I got anything with that last time. Weapon points. There's weapon points. Weapon points can be spent to upgrade your weapons in... Okay. Oh, the weapon points is the... The one we've got five of, right? Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. Good cutscenes. Very good cutscenes. Bank enemy niche. Uh, that's our hiding in cover for an increased hit chance. Yeah, it removes the um, um, the shielding buffs, right? So obviously half gives you 25% and a full gives you uh, 75%. Home sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. I think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. Okay. So. Was box this the garage? Yeah, it is. The box. Box goes in the ark. Or a gas station. Food, we take their guns. Mutants in the ark. Tell me, tell me. Uh, Stalker Clorin notes, uh, it's a crying shame with this departure. Delta would have surely given us a discount, she mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within a, uh, the scrap ruins. This was one of those devices for burning things together or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without uh, without a fucking cloud above it. Them, da uh, them damn ghoul bastards who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us away before we could recover it. Next time, ghouls... We will get you good, Stalker Clara. Mutants are weak. We kill so fast, we kill so slow. Quick, quick, quick. Bumba, 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 bumba. Fox is coming. We killed them all. 
Has he gone back? He has. Let's get this open. The little visor. It gets plus 25% uh, added to the weapon range. Which is good, because uh, I believe uh, Mr. Duck's here. He's uh, uh, like scouts. He has the movement range. He has the stealth abilities. Where Mr. Borman here, who decides to never want to look at me, um, is our brute. He's the tank. He likes to get in there, in the face, and uh, use use all of his strength. He's coming over. He's a level four and he's a level four. Not been spotted. Ow! I'm the death dealing, soul stealing, stalking the machine. Uh, view of anyone else, and we're going to take this guy out as well, just to get that little bit of XP, you know. Get some weapon parts as well. I should technically always get into cover. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit too comfortable um, attacking these guys, knowing that I'm 100% going to hit. Where in fact it's only 75%. So I think it, I think it will bite me in the butt. And it's a good job just because um, Pumper wasn't on me right then. The elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else. Bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running. How to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north. Not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Okay, so, question is, is what is Hammond uh, up to? Or where's he going? Why is he being suspicious? Um, Delta's fix pits. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? No. So, what can we upgrade? 30? Level 2 does plus 1 damage, plus uh, 1 crit. An additional critical damage, 50% chance to burn enemies. Do we think that's going to be good on the crossbow or the shotgun? 
I'm thinking maybe the crossbow because if someone's far away, he has a lot. Uh, he has better range compared to what uh, Bowman does, and I feel like they might need to take a turn to get to us, where they can take burn damage. So I'm thinking we put it on uh, on the crossbow. I like how it uh, shows it on the, the weapon as well. That's cool. What, no scopes available. Um, can we do anything to the gaper? No, that's 30 uh, weapon parts as well. Can't really do much right now. Uh, oh, okay. So if I dismantle this, I'm going to get 11. Interesting. Okay. So that's not attached onto anyone right now. So let's let's uh, let's remove this. Let's dismantle it. Let's get them pieces. Uh, and then we'll get up to 30 where we then might increase the uh, crossbow damage take it easy because I believe it's only doing 4 damage right now and uh, as you know we have seen some marauders in the past that have 5 after a killer day in the zone you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog you want to get loaded? order a shot no butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Right. So we do have these artifacts, and that was... <laughs> this is something I, I definitely gonna go for. The, uh, five turns in case someone goes down. Uh, improves med kits by 3 HP. Mule lots an extra grenade slot per crew member. And grants an additional 20% discount in uh, Iridia's shop. I'm going to go for the tough guy. Um, it's going to give us uh, uh, an extra, extra two turns for our unit to bleed out before they die. And as you know, if they die, they die. Cheers! Uh... Iridia, let's see if she tells me a name if I'm pronouncing it right. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. Iridia. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Easy. Happy shopping. 55 scrap for it. Four. Is that for four? Oh, no, that's, that's rough. But I feel like it's going to be useful. Safe travels. Bye. Crazy. Crazy. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. Goodbye, stalkers. Okay. So, we need to go and find more information about Hammond before this guy wants to have a chat. Hmm. Let's go to this zone, and we need to go to the cabin. Uh, just north of the arc, on a steep cliff lies the outpost of Hammond's The Stalker. It is a simple wooden cabin that does not offer the occasional visitor much. This is where Hammond spends much of his time, always on the lookout for the unexpected. Let's travel and not die. Okay. Why is it saying no artifacts? Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. 
Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman. Ain't no happy ending in this story. The stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. I love the banter that they have on it's uh it's great. It's uh it's really great. Makes you chuckle. Puts a smile in your face. Do you agree? Yeah, we've got another dog here. The zone dog got level five. It's still coming towards us. Oh the hell? Oh. It's got 10 HP as well. And there's another one here. Okay, we'll have to take one of these. Ambush. Look at that, four damage. Now it's getting fun. Ooh, there's the fire damage. And then I'm gonna go here with the Bormin and then put him on Overwatch in case he decides to come close. Overwatch. Is this other dog gonna get attracted down? He has. Okay. And you missed. I need to heal. I need to heal with him. They don't have much health. Or oh, would it have been worth just to get him knocked here? This could actually be worse of a med kit. One of ours is down. I feel like sometimes it's we have to get somebody to go down. I think that's all. I think that's a, a thing we're gonna have to do. One and done. And then he should pick himself up, right? Yeah. Not too shabby. But they are injured right now. Oh. Put this on you, 20% added to the weapon range. Let's give you, yeah. Um, let's mutate Mr. Uh, Borman here and give him a the run and gun. Enables an action after sprinting. After using a second action point, your body can, can trigger a burst of reserve stamina, which allows you to perform an action afterwards. Useful for recharging enemies who are far away from the crew. Note this must be activated before you spent both action points. So if I use it, I then have to kill two enemies without without it, and then I get it back. Right, let's go. I've got to be careful. Them, um, even two dogs is uh, strong right now. These abandoned campsites always get my feathers twitching. Hundreds of them out here. All full of ghosts, shivering and grenade. Cold. I feel about feel like you can't just fight all the time, you know. To um even just to level up. But if we don't fight, we're not gonna be able to. So we have to pick and choose right now until we feel like we are strong enough and got a good team composition. 
to actually uh, do something. Get over here. Oh God, hello. We should check Hammond's cabin like the elder asked us to. We are. Whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. Drone ship. Like from the trailer, you know? Oh. Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Right. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. We takes everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? Ones in the north will catch Hammond. Hunter on the inside, the level the uh, level five. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. Ten health. Oh, the marauder's coming over. Go pick him off. Let's see if he gets this, uh, any more closer, you know. If he starts coming this way, we will... Uh... Oh, he is, he is, he is, he is. Right, make sure he's out the suit. <gasps> Borman, 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 Borman. Okay, let's quickly take him out. Bye-bye. Nice. Okay, we did, we've still not been detected. And he got a level up as well. Nice, nice, nice. So let's quickly do that before we go into battle. Um... And it is movement boosting because your stamina permanently giving you an additional plus two percent movement range. Very, very useful. Ooh. Can you imagine if they start changing their appearance, you know? Right, so he's no matter what, we're gonna get spotted. Without a doubt. I believe we can take them. We've just got to do it right. And clever. So. I'm thinking. We get. Mr. Borman. Over here behind this. And. Maybe we'll get you behind the rock. Are we gonna have range of that guy over there? Or do we have range of this one? Okay, we do have range. And I wanna put beforehand Mr. Borman on Overwatch, just in case this guy runs out the back. Um, to fire a good, decent shot and maybe get a, a good bonus here, a crit hit. Um, nice, nice, yeah. nice. That's a clean hit. It's their turn. He's going to now move and hopefully Pumba gets a nice hit here. He does. Is he going to hit? Yes. Sweet. Definitely needed that. Overwatch. Right. Let's step back here a little bit. And we're going to reload. That's two actions taken. And we're going to put you behind the building here to get full cover. And then go on Overwatch. 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 Smash the feather one! I'll cut, cut, cut that filthy mutant neck! As good as dead! This guy's got a pistol, so he has got some range. And this guy's got a pistol. 
So I'm still going to go into Overwatch um, with Borman, with Humber. Overwatch. And 25% chance to hit. Mm. What have you got? Smoke Grenade. Twenty-five percent to hit, and out of range. Let's go with Overwatch as well, because this guy here with a—he's uh, a butcher, so he has to move. Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, so he's just hanging around the back. He's going to come towards us now, and he missed. He could get a hit on us here. Actually, no, he's—he uh, he hasn't. Overwatch. Oh, you coming? You're coming this side. Can you get a hit? You can't. So let's get a reload on you. And with Mr. Pumba here, I want to activate his ability, uh, Run and Gun. And I want him to. Run all the way here to shotgun. And fire. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not so bad. I am open to an attack here. I'm gonna move him here and then we're gonna go for a Oh no, what? Did he reload? The bird! Oh, no sweat on it! Damn it. Ah! Ah, Get out of here. You're earning your scrap, kid. Do the shamans attack? I don't think they attack. I think they just keep calling in reinforcements. But well, anyway, I need to um I need to reload. He's gonna call in some reinforcements now, isn't he? Overwatch. Oh, does he have a weapon? Overwatch. Twenty five percent hit. If you got a Molotov, let's get him on fire. You need to reload. Like he has to reload after every turn. Fifty percent chance to hit. Mm. It was a gamble. Was a risky move. He's now out of Overwatch, isn't he? Ah, down. Still got the cover. It's his turn. Is he going to call in additionals? He is. How many, though? Just the one. And he is a butcher, so he has to melee. So we're going to go on to Overwatch. Overwatch. And then we're going to move you up a little bit closer. And put you into Overwatch as well, in case this shame decides to move again. So we can get a bit more um, hit chance. Overwatch. Just like that. <laughs> now, if this butcher moves, hopefully he goes towards uh, Pumba, and he misses. 
We need it! All right, Gollum. Gotcha. We want it, it. we good. needs it. My precious. Over here. We want it, we need it. One additional crit dam damage, 20% chance to disable robotic enemies, uh, damage module, uh, upgrade weapons at Delta's workshop. Broken electronics, uh, eight scrap. Pick up piles of notes. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Duck aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden, where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade A certified loony. No one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took? Zone dog camp. As, it, uh, as the seasons pass, I am forced further out of into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. From time to time, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even in locations I imagined were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the fallen machine. There appears to be the remains of an ancient camp complete with, uh, transportable, uh, complete with transportable huts. Uh, the location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs who for some reason tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. Uh, they pick off wandering ghouls and I leave them alone. Then usually sy uh, symbi but symbiosis uh, works me quite well. They're following orders, just zone like us. Camp. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. And ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I feel it in my feathers. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire. Because when I looked into it, everything became smaller and more distant. Amazing what the ancients could make. Because you looked in the wrong end, you bloody fool. Okay, so it's taking me over here next. Hmm. I could do with getting some supplies. But anyway. We're going to uh, put a cut in this video here, guys. Um, I think we're on roughly the same place as last time. Um, so apologies on watching this again. But we have a bit more understanding of the story. And a bit more understanding of how the game mechanics work. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like if you've enjoyed the video. And also hit the notification bell to get notified on when I do upload another. So I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you the next video.